Hello there. Our verse for the day comes to us from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and Christ, the morning star, shines in your hearts. You see, the content of the Bible tells you and I that God created the world out of love. And even though the world rejects God, the divine nature of God still works to reconcile us to him. We see this in the many and varied stories of the Old Testament that describe kings and prophets, the ups and downs of the people of Israel, battles and invasions, all of these leading up to God at work in the way and the truth and the life of Jesus Christ. God's work continues with us today as we see the biblical past and its truths as part of our present and future lives. When we read the stories of Adam and Eve, Abraham and Sarah, King David, Job, the prodigal son, and so many others, we begin to truly understand God's word when we see those stories as our own. The Bible truly is a story of ourselves, our own challenges, our own successes, our own failures, our, our faith and faithlessness, our own thoughts, feelings, words, and actions. When we understand that is when we are able to perceive God's word as a shining lamp, especially in the darkest places of our lives, and also the light of Christ arising in and shining out of our hearts. Now, our passage for the day comes to us from, again, 2 Peter chapter 1. And I'll be reading to you from the New Living Translation of God's Holy Word, verses 16 through 21. Because of that, for we were not making up clever stories, when we told you about the powerful coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We saw his majestic splendor with our own eyes when he received honor and glory from God the Father. The voice from the majestic glory of God said to him, This is my dearly beloved Son who brings me great joy. We ourselves heard that voice from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns, and Christ, the morning star, shines in your hearts. Above all, you must realize that no human initiative, that no prophecy in Scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No. Those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit, and they spoke from God. Now, other suggested uh, additional readings for today come from Psalm chapter 119, verses 105 through 112, and 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Blessings to you and yours from the Ion Community Church. Thank you.